the spread of infectious diseases has long been a major concern. Thousands of individuals died as a result of outbreaks, many of which occurred in small geographic areas. Prior to the mid-19th century, it was frequently believed that diseases were caused and spread by a miasma, a type of foul air. In 1854, London was hit with a devastating pandemic that had the city in a panic. More than 600 people died in a matter of few weeks. Doctors and scientists had no clue why and what causing this outbreak. How did it spread so quickly? What was the cause of this pandemic? And why was it so difficult to contain? Welcome to The Lazy Historian. In today's episode, we will dive into the London cholera pandemic of 1854 and explain the reasons why and where it spread and how it was contained. Around the year 1850, Soho had the highest concentration of international political exiles. They stayed in inexpensive hotels, ate in cheap restaurants, and plotted the next revolution on their own countries. At the same time, London was a wealthy place. The newcomers were impressed by the scale of the city, its sophisticated manufacturing, its shops, streetlights, and especially its booming international trade by looking at the number of cargo ships on the Thames. Where all of that sounded wonderful, the number of population increased dramatically, not only because of the new immigrants, in the late 1700s, Edward Jenner discovered how to vaccinate against smallpox using injections. And in 1800, cotton undies began to replace wool. Cotton is much easier to wash and dry, and people were encouraged to wash their clothes more frequently. This reduced infections and deaths. Soap also started to get cheaper in the 1800s, and people were encouraged to buy and use them daily. The River Thames had been utilized as a dumping place for the capital's waste for centuries, and as the population expanded, so did the problem. The hot summer of 1858 raised the stink to an unacceptable level and resulted in an episode known as the Great Stink. If you want to know more about the Great Stink in details, please leave us a comment down below. Snow was a British physician who was regarded as one of the founding fathers of epidemiology for his work in determining the origins of a cholera outbreak in 1854. He was born on 15th of March 1813 in York to a laborer's family, and apprenticed to a surgeon at the age of 14. In 1836, he traveled to London to begin his formal medical education. He graduated from the University of London and was admitted to the Royal College of Physicians in 1850. When Queen Victoria gave birth to Prince Leopold in 1853 and Princess Beatrice in 1857, it was John Snow who administered the obstetric anesthesia. The Broad Street epidemic was a major cholera outbreak that occurred in 1854 in Soho, London, near Broad Street, now known as Broadwick Street. Physicians and scientists maintain two contradictory theories about the cause of cholera in the human body, the miasma theory and the germ theory. Miasma basically means a bad air that causes diseases. Snow did not accept the miasma and argued that theory. He believed that cholera was caused by a microbe-like agent, or germ, that was transmitted through direct contact, polluted water, and filthy clothing. At that time, there was also no appropriate separation of drinking water from polluted water. Raw sewage, for example, was pumped into the Thames not far from where water was taken out for distribution to households and pumps. John started his own research and study by mapping cholera deaths and noting that they were largely people whose closest access to Broad Street water pumps. At the time, the pump not only supplied water to numerous homes in the neighboring streets, but also to several other businesses. He found one group of men working in a brewery on Broad Street who had stayed healthy by not drinking water from the pump and instead drinking their own beer. With more examination, Snow found few water companies such as the South War Company were still drawing their water, not far from a number of sewage outlets, which was one of the main water suppliers to Broad Street. John presented his results to town officials, convincing them to remove the handle from the Broad Street water pump. Although they originally opposed his request, the cholera outbreak almost immediately subsided after the handle was removed. A few decades later, the German physician Robert Koch discovered the bacteria Vibrio cholerae as the cause of cholera. Koch confirmed that the bacterium was spread through contaminated water or food, giving credibility to John Snow's theory. John is widely regarded as having founded the subject of epidemiology. Today, you can still see the replica of the water pump installed in a slightly different position to the original, and a pink granite curbstone had marked the location of the original pump. Next to it, a pub named John Snow to commemorate the centenary of his work in the area. 
Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content.